Hey, 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 this is Louis D. Fresh bringing it to you on a Saturday afternoon. I hope you are doing well. Uh, it is now, it is Memorial Day weekend here. Uh, I don't know when you're watching this, what year you're watching this. But uh, here, Memorial Day in the United States of America, it is a uh, remembrance of all those who, who gave their lives, uh, who died. Uh, so that we could enjoy the freedom that we enjoy. And so I know somebody said in some video the other day that it's awkward talking about it. I don't find it awkward at all. Uh, I thank those men and women who did sacrifice their lives uh, so I, I could do things like this. Uh, so I thank them. Uh, so what we're talking about in this fish video, we're going to be talking about aeration. Aeration, uh, because I, I never thought, and I got my fish farm hat on, I didn't think it would be necessary, but indeed it is. Uh, it really keeps things flowing, it keeps things alive and well, and it definitely provides a little bit more movement and oxygen in the water. This will be my clip. Anyway, now that I finished my little clip, let's, uh, let's see what we got. I'm going to show you my, my four outdoor tanks, um, and, I, and I do have a, um, uh, what you call that thing? I have a, uh, a tortoise. I, I'll quickly show you. Well, let, let me, let's walk over. Let's walk over first. See, I know it has nothing to do with aeration, but let's... Let's take a look at Fabiana. I haven't showed you Fabiana in some time. I did do a video on Fabiana. I know it's a little wet right now because I uh, I threw uh, some water, but uh, she kind of, hold on, hold on. There's my friend Fabiana. She's uh, she's munching away. I gave her a hibiscus flower. She's having a wonderful time. I got some water. I think I got some water. Yeah, I got some water over there. See, she's uh, she's growing. Uh, stay small, stay small, girl. But uh, the red-footed tortoise is doing really well. And look back on my archives so you can learn more about this red-footed tortoise. Fabiana that we got uh, on December 8th, 2024. Anyway, back to the point. We're talking about aeration. We're talking about here, this is a, my mini, my mini pond. Um, let me take out some of this. Don't, don't, if you did a little lesson right here, see this little stuff right here? Uh, I hope you saw it because I'm trying to get rid of it at the same time. That is called, um, I don't know what the heck it's called, but I know it's a weed and I forgot what it's called right now. Duckweed, duckweed. Don't get duckweed. The duckweed is, is it's it's like I, I know this sounds terrible. I know this is a rated G channel, but it's like herpes. You can't get rid of this stuff. So just uh, don't 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 ever put this stuff in here. Uh, it's really it's really horrible. Anyway, aeration. Here's again my beautiful uh, Asian my Asian mini ponds with our, our friend brother Buddha over here. Beautiful uh, beautiful ponds. Uh, and again with my guppies and some tetras and uh, some minnows. And of course, my uh, I got some hornwort. I just threw in some anacris. But you see here the aeration. It's not too hard, so it's not blowing them all over the place. But it's just enough, I would think. You know, and I do my, I do can change it here. See that little uh, little black thing there, and that's how I kind of maneuver it to. And the and I have this here in case you ever wondered. And again, I just watered the plants. It's not because it rained, and uh, that's why I have these these hoods here because it will. Let me just take it up so you can see. This is where and normally I have a lot of outlets because that's where I put in my heaters from a heater up here for my for my tur turtles and my and my fish here so that's why I have a lot of outlets and I have this cover here for when we it, truly when we have those storms that are now at this time of year are, are, are plentiful but going back again to the aeration it really does provide uh, a good movement of the water it provides oxygen to the water and uh, and again it just keeps everything nice and nice and clean and so there you go. This does not have aeration because they do have lungs. Um, um, which one is which? Hold on a second. I'll tell you right now. This is uh, peanut butter. And again, that's jelly. And uh, But there is a degree of aeration because you see that with that uh, flow of water, there are uh, there is air bubbles. And that does help these fish that now have become, they're no longer, uh, there are five of them. I don't know where the other one went. Uh, no, it's not in the belly or anything, but there's there's five. One, two, three, four, and I don't know where the other one went, but maybe they ate them. I doubt it. Uh, they have, maybe they have, uh, but they have really become their pets more than anything else. There are five. I, I just don't worry. Maybe he ate one. Who knows? Anyway, that's one for aeration. Aeration number two. Again, here's my mini pond. Again, this is the plant here to keep uh, to keep the birds. Not really the little birds because the, the little black birds they'll come here. And they'll definitely drink from here and they may take a a guppy or two and there's a reason why i have guppies that's a little creepy i'm not telling you why i have little guppies you see the little guppies there i'm not telling you why yet uh and uh that really keeps away the big ones that perhaps might be out there the hawks and the falcons and the and especially the anhingus the anhingus are the ones that really go go in there and dive in there but again there's a nice little angle here of the aeration 
Uh, these are sponge filters. It's not just aeration. These are sponge filters. This is literally the um, what do you call that? The uh, the filter that I have for this for these uh, for these little uh, little aquariums, these little mini ponds. And not only does it serve as aeration, the same one over there. Same, it doesn't serve just as aeration, but it serves as the filter for these little mini ponds. And uh, it, re it really is. I, I'm just. I really am in love with these mini ponds. I I, I think they're just so much fun. They're they're they really have fish originally were kept and the aeration keeps things moving and keeps things healthy and happy here is a little different here i'm going to take a look a little angle here i want you to see here there's two sources of aeration one is that spray bar that spray bar which i'll move a little closer in a second and here as well here i have an actual air stone uh, i will move over here there's an actual air stone there i have it covered up some oh there goes the, one of the reasons why there i have those guppies i'm telling you what that was and um so i have that air stone there it really helps and then you see the fish have gotten bigger jeez louise and it definitely keeps things moving and as weird as it may sound this over here this this is a source of water this is a water, sense of water not only does that provide air but this provides oxygen as well there's a sense of movement of the water and that's that's important you don't want stagnant water right and again i have here my anacris and there's a reason for that anacris that i put there uh, in, in the last couple of months, uh, and again, there's a reason, but I'm not telling you why. And there is the nice flow. See, it's a nice heavy flow, uh, and it's it's cons it's got, it's constant. You say, oh, that's even a better shot. Check it out. That is a nice flow of aeration. It keeps everything healthy, happy, keeps everything moving, and especially now it's about it's it's, it's pushing 90 degrees Fahrenheit. So I really do need that extra oxygen to keep everything uh, cool. And of course, I have my little uh, pathos over here. So, and last but not least, as of now I hit the seven-minute mark here, as I head, oh look, Kali just got a got a bath. There's Kali. She's kind of annoyed that I'm I'm keeping her in there, but it's air conditioned in there. Anyway, and there's our friend brother Buddha, and we have here. I think I may or may not. Oh, as I sit down, I may or may not have shown you these little um, these solar fountains. I'm not sure if I did. But I have these solar fountains that we have from QVC. My wife is a big QVC fan. And uh, I, we really like them. Uh, there's literally no batteries, no electricity, no plug. Uh, and depends on how the, uh, how it's, how the, um, what do you call it? the sun is, sun is shining? Oh, the sun is sunny. Uh, that depend that will show, you know, uh, the fountain, uh, how high it may go or go at all. And again, that provides more oxygen right there. Provides more oxygen. As well as right there, that's my little out, my little filter uh, that again is a, a source of oxygen. Those little bubbles, and I, it is cloudy naturally because I did add every every two weeks. I do add some uh, some crushed coral, and that's why this this uh, this this tank is really kicking it because it's really really doing a, it's it's just it's just amazing. Um, can you see myself censoring myself? Those people who are adults, you can laugh. And then you see right here, there is my air stone right there. Even though I'm getting wet here. See the air stone? That is my air stone. There is my, my, my water, my bubbles right there. I call it la burbuja, the little bubbles there. Uh, and it doesn't look like much. Uh, I thought it actually was a little stronger, but you know what? It's been like that for some time, so we're going to leave it that way. I'm not going to add it. But you see here, there is a, there is a nice, nice flow of, of uh, oxygen. And again... This really does keep the tank because right now this this water is a soup. This water is a soup, and so I really want to make sure that that between the the fountains, the fountains, the the oxygen here and the oxygen there, that we do have plenty, plenty of oxygen for these. For, and there's got to be at least a couple hundred fish in here, as you can see all these all these uh, babies now. Uh, uh, I say that I say uh, I say I, I I don't know what to say. There's literally hundreds and hundreds of babies in here. And uh, if y'all need some guppies, just holler. No, I'm uh, And last but not least, before I let you go, uh, just enjoy it for a second. That's my long-winded 9 minute and 35 second <laughs> video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, aeration. Um, definitely use it. I, I, I didn't think it was necessary, but... Like I said, I'm always learning. Every day is a school day. So, indeed, you do need some aeration. And so, uh, you know, this is Louis D. Fresh.